Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send payment reminders to your customers on WhatsApp from your Google Sheets automatically. So guys, for this, you just have to create a spreadsheet in Google Sheet application and there you have to add the customer details and the due date of their payments. And guys, our automation is going to check the spreadsheet and send the reminder of the payment to those people only whose due date, whose payment is due. Okay. And these mes messages will be automatically delivered a few days before the due date, like two days before or three days before, according to your will. And guys, you can set up this automation without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool to set up this automation. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And from here, guys, you have to create a workflow of automation for that. Just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as uh, automated. So I have given the name here as automated payment reminders on WhatsApp from Google Sheets. Okay. So after giving the name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things the trigger and the action. So trigger is that event which is going to trigger this workflow or start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger. So in this use case, the trigger would be a date, a scheduled date on which you want to send the date, send the messages, the reminders. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to uh, schedule the running of this workflow at any particular day. Let's say you want that at the end of every week or at every Saturday, this workflow should check the spreadsheet and send the reminder messages to all the customers whose payment is due. Okay. For that, we can use scheduler feature of Pabli Connect here. So with the help of scheduler, you can schedule the running of workflows of automation as well. So here it is asking when you want to run your workflow and or how often. So I want that this workflow should run ev uh, at a day of the week. Okay which day every Saturday, let's say. Okay. And here you can put the time in uh, you uh, in this format. So you have to put the time in your, in, according to your accounts time zone. So I'm, uh, I'm in Asia Kolkata. So I'm just putting here nine in the morning. Okay. So this is a 24 hours clock here. You can check the clock so you can select the time from here. Okay. So guys, every Saturday at 9 a.m. in the morning, this workflow is going to run. So we just click on save. And here you can see the workflow is scheduled to run on this date at this time every Saturday, right? And what this workflow is going to do, it, it is going to uh, check this spreadsheet I have created. And this spreadsheet, I have the list of my customers along with their payment due dates and the payment statuses, okay? So the, these are the due dates of the payments. Some customers have already paid their payments, but some customers has their payment as dues. Okay. So for those customers only, we want to set up this automation. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use the section step. And from here, I'm going to search for Google Sheets application. And from my Google Sheet, I, I am going to capture the details of only those people or the only those customers whose payment is due. Okay. For that, just search for Google Sheets here. This is Google Sheets. And in the action event, search for this option, look up spreadsheet rows, click on look up spreadsheet rows, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from here, select that Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet then provide some additional access to your Google account. Just click on continue. That is completely safe. And you can see the authorization is successful. And we are connected. Okay. And here it is asking for the spreadsheets name. So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that we have created. From here, you can select the spreadsheets name like this. And here it is asking to select the sheets name now. 
so my sheets name is this sheet one okay so i'm going to select the name sheet one okay and here it is asking for the lookup column so guys uh, i want to search for only those people whose payments are due so i am going to see the due the payment status is here from the column e okay so column e will be our lookup column and the lookup value would, would be dues okay so lookup column is e column and sorry lookup column is e column and the lookup value is i want to search for this term due term okay so just put due here as it is as you have put in the spreadsheet like this okay uh, if you want to search from headers you can include the headers search from top yes okay and then click on save and send test request button to get the data from your spreadsheet and bring it here in the workflow so here you can see the data got uh, captured here like this and it is showing us all the data of all the customers whose payments are due you can see one by one okay but guys we we got the data of all the people whose payments are due together in this format okay so why, what i'm going to do now i want to send the reminder messages to these people one by one so to run this workflow one by one for each and every customer we are going to use another feature here which is called iterator but to use iterator we need to capture this data in a different format okay for that you just have to toggle this simple response button to off here and then click on save and send test request and the data will be captured in advanced format or array format you can see now in this response result label we got the data captured in this array okay so we got the data in array now we can use iterator just click here on this plus icon and from this action step you can search for this feature you can see iterator and here it is asking to choose the array so when you click here it will show the previous step in the drop down and from here you can choose this response result array okay so just choose the array from here and iterator will segregate this data uh, one by one okay starting from the first person whose payment is due let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request and here you can see started showing the data of the person whose payment is due which is at the first uh, position in the array you can see it is the name of the person is hello user you can see from here also this is the first person whose payment is due and the name is hello user okay so this is how it is going to work this is the fee, uh, use of iterator here right now guys after that uh, what i want i want to uh, send the reminder messages before the due date okay not after the due date a few days before the due date for that we are going to compare the due date we received here with the current date on which the workflow is running okay for that uh, we do not want to send the reminders after the due date of course we want to send it before so for, to apply this here just click here in this plus icon and from this action step search for date time formatter feature to uh, get the current date okay the date on which the workflow is running just select date time formatter and in the action event we have this option you can see current date so it is going to retrieve the current date then click on connect and here it is asking in which format you want to uh, fetch the date so i want the date in the same format as i have entered here right so this format is mmddyyy format and a slash in between so you can select this format from here like this okay and i do not want to include time in the response so i'm making it false now click on save and send test request button and here you can see uh, the result is here this is the current date right now i'm going to compare this date with the due date and uh, to compare that just click here on this plus icon and from this action step i'm going to search for number formatter option number formatter feature okay and in the action event i am going to search for a uh, spreadsheet formula so with the help of spreadsheet formulas i am going to apply a formula of spreadsheet just click on connect and uh, you can select uh, and that formula i am using to compare the dates are called it's called date formula days formula actually okay and you can check the formula list by clicking on this help text 
and this is the list of all the spreadsheet formulas that you can apply in our workflows and this is the days formula we have and it will show you the difference between uh, difference of days between two dates okay so i am going to just copy this formula format from here i am going to paste it here like this then i am going to erase the data from uh, which is already here erase this then when you click here uh, in between the commas apostrophe commas it will show you the previous steps like this and from this iterator first of all i am going to map this due date okay and i am going to compare it with the current date so just click here in between the commas here and from this date time formatter previous step where we have fetched the current date just map the current date okay then click on save and send test request button and it will give you the difference between the days dates and here you can see the result is 17 this means the due date is 17 days ahead of the date on which the workflow is running okay so guys if uh, if you want to send the reminder messages two days or three days before the before the due date you can apply a condition here okay and that condition would be when this result shows you difference of the days as three or four then only send the reminder messages okay and this value should be positive also this me positive means the due date must be greater than the current date okay because we do not want to send the reminders after the due date okay that will be uh, inappropriate okay so just click here on this plus icon and here guys i am going to search for a uh, filter feature here you can see with the help of filter we can apply the filter i uh, we can apply the conditions okay and uh, to apply the condition that this value should be three that means uh, we want to send the reminder message three days before you just have to select this label here just click here and from this last step map this result value result label and this day this value should be equal to three so when the difference is three that means the due date is three days ahead then we can send the reminder and another condition with what we can apply is that this value should be positive for that uh, we have two conditions and both conditions should be fulfilled for that I'm going to apply the end condition here and logic condition so just click here uh, in this plus I on this plus icon from the right hand side and just click here to select the label and map the result label again of the previous step and this value should also be greater than zero so select the filter type as greater than and put the value here as zero okay so when both of these conditions are fulfilled then the workflow will continue right now it will give you uh, the condition as false you can see the condition is false because the result is 17 here okay that is okay but when this condition meets true the workflow is going to be continued and your, uh, your work will be done after that what we want we want to just send a reminder message and we want to send a reminder on whatsapp for that just click here on this plus icon and connect whatsapp here and to connect with WhatsApp, we need to have the access of WhatsApp's API or application programming interface. And to get that access, we are going to use WhatsApp's own cloud API platform. So guys, before using cloud API feature here, first of all, you need to set up your cloud API system with your WhatsApp number. Okay, and to know how to do that, you can watch the video from the description right now. We have created a dedicated video on setting up the system in cloud API and how you can use your number in cloud api setup right after that you can search whatsapp cloud api here and select it and in the action event you have to select send template message option then click on connect from here if you're making the connection for the very first time select add new connection option here you can give a suitable name to your new connection and then you have to put whatsapp's permanent access token the phone number id and the business account id details so guys if you want to learn more about these things and how to make connections you can just click here on this here text written in blue and you will reach the forum page of pavli and here we have these two videos and here in these videos we have explained the cloud api setup inside pavli connect and how to generate the permanent access token of cloud api and if we have many things here you can search many things okay and uh, to 
connect here, let me show you my cloud API setup first. So this is my cloud API platform setup and I'm under WhatsApp's getting started page. And here we have this temporary token. So these temporary tokens expires in 24, so 24 hours. So we need to generate a permanent one. And if you want to know how to do that, you can watch the video from this forum page or from the page uh, from the link given in the description. We have a video on that. And after getting the token generated, you have to paste this token here in this field. Okay. And similarly, you will find the uh, phone number ID here. You can copy that and paste it here. And you will get uh, the business account ID here. You can copy that and paste it here. Right. And after pasting all the things, you have to click on save and you will be connected with the cloud API. And guys, this connection that you're making here will be saved in your account. So if you want to make the connection again, you can use your saved connections also. As I have already created many connections, those that are saved in my account. So I can use my saved connections for that. I just have to select this existing connection option. And here you can see it is showing us the list of all the existing connections I have. And from here, I can choose any of my previous connections. So let me select this one. Okay. And now I just have to click on save and I'll be connected with cloud API again. You can see I am connected. And here it is asking for the template message templates name. So message templates are pre created message structures that you have to create in the cloud API, API setup. And with the help of those templates, we can send messages to multiple people on WhatsApp. So guys, for this purpose, I have already created a template created a template. Let me show you. This is the template I have created for sending the reminder messages named as due pay reminder. And here, let me show you the preview of the message. So this is how the message is going to look like when we are going to use it to send messages. And it is saying, hi, Roger Binney. This is just a sample name. You have only three days remaining to pay your due amount. Otherwise your post deposit advance deposit will be sunk. So pay the due amount by this date. Okay. And here in this message, uh, you can see I have this in the body box, you can see this is the body of the message. And here I have this one in double curly braces, two, three, and four. So these are the placeholders or the body fields of the message. This means we can change the values of these placeholders every time we are going to send the message. So guys, to uh, you have to put these placeholders in proper places in your message templates. And if you want to know how to create these templates, watch the video from the description. We have already created a video on template creation as well. And you can learn from that. Okay. Let me select my templates name here. And uh, my templates name is due pay reminder. Okay. And here you can see the language code and the template ID is auto filled. And here it is asking for the recipient's mobile number or the WhatsApp number of the customer to whom you are sending this message. And we have already captured the details of my customers and I have separated the details with the help of iterator like this. So from this iterator step, I'm going to map the value of the WhatsApp number. For that, you just have to click here and the previous steps will appear in the drop down. And from this iterator, map the WhatsApp number. Similarly, for the first body field, map the name of the customer from the iterator. In the second body field, let's see, we need to place uh, the number of days uh, before we are sending this message. That means uh, we are sending this message three days before. So I'm putting three here. Here in the fourth body field, let us see advanced deposit for three. Okay. So here you can put the name of your product, whatever the product or service you're selling and whatever the reason of the payment you have to put here in the third body field. I have put here the product name manually. Okay. Just to show you the demo. So you can put things manually also here like this, but the things that you're putting here manually are not going to change with every new message. The things you are mapping here are going to change like this number. Every time this workflow is going to execute in uh, the WhatsApp number will be delivered to the different number of every customer. Okay. And the name will be changed in a template as well. 
so it is better to map the things okay and in the fourth body field uh, i am going to map the due date from the iterator step this is the due date okay right now you can check your connection by clicking on save and send test request and a uh, whatsapp message will be sent to this number so this is not a real number so i'm going to put my whatsapp number here just to show you the demo and let's see how the message is going to look like so i have clicked on save and send test request and this is the message i have received on my whatsapp you can see a new message is here and the message is this you can see hi hello user you can see in place of the body field the name got placed you have only three days remaining to pay your due amount and otherwise your deposit will be sunk for the product you can see and the due date is this 11 7 2 0 2 2 and these are the same details i have mapped here you can see three product date hello user so this is how it is going to work guys so that's how the um, things will be placed in place of body fields automatically and these messages will be delivered so we are done setting up this automation and we have to set up this automation only once after that we don't have to do anything manually here in this workflow after that you just have to update the details here in the spreadsheet and the workflow is going to run on every saturday and check the details of the payment statuses and according to the statuses the uh, the payment reminders will be sent three days before the actual due date of the payment to your customers automatically and you can use this same workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel